Hello everyone, today's video we are going to take a look at the top 8 best Android tablets in 2017. I made the list based on their performance, features and price. If you want to find out more information about them like the price and the full list of features for each tablet, you can check out the links in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 8 we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A is a great option for people that are looking for an affordable but feature rich tablet. It has a decent build quality and a sharp bright screen. The casing is plastic but doesn't feel cheap. Setup is quick and easy and the tablet feels very responsive with its octa-core processor. It comes in two colors, both black and white and I would say that both of them look pretty good. It has 16GB of storage space, but if you need more you don't have to worry because it has a micro SD card slot which gives you another way to move that data around. For an affordable tablet it's fast with very little lag, performing everyday tasks. Loading up most applications and swiping between screens is quick and smooth and it can run most of the game smoothly without any lag. The tablet has an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera and supports recording video up to full HD at 30 fps, but I personally think they could have done a better job with the camera. At number 7 we have the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Plus. The Yoga Tab 3 comes in a stylish and robust aluminum casing, but it can also be set up and used in a versatile manner thanks to the integrated kickstand. The base is sturdy enough that you can tap the screen without get sending it tumbling over. There's even a hole that you can hang the tablet from, making it ideal for reading recipes in the kitchen. The camera is also integrated into the base, instead of one camera sensor on the front for video calling and the second one on the back for taking photos, you get a single module, mounted on a 180 degree rotation hinge so it can be pointed in either direction. The best thing about this tablet is its battery. It's pretty powerful and it can last for up to 15 hours. Some tablets can't even reach 10 hours so that's a big thumbs up for Lenovo. Another thing worth mentioning is the JBL speakers that are integrated to the tablet. They are very high quality and clear so if you're a music lover this will be a great feature for you. Overall this tablet is very good, is packed with features and it's not that expensive compared to some of uh, tablets in this price range. At number 6 we have the Huawei MediaPad M3. The Huawei MediaPad M3 is an 8.4 inch Android tablet on the middle price range. It has a 2K display resulting in 359 pixels per inch and the build quality is amazing because it's built of glass and aluminium. It has Harman Kardon speakers which are top notch. The speakers are loud and clear with relatively robust sound. The speakers rival laptops in terms of audio, volume and quality. The MediaPad M3 has the high silicon octa-core processor which can easily handle day-to-day -day mobile tablet tasks and demanding 3D games. It has a 5100 mAh battery which should last a full day with regular use at lower settings. The Huawei MediaPad M3 is the perfect size with a decent screen and great speakers. Its performance is not bad at all, especially considering the price. If you're looking for a tablet that delivers on the key areas it's meant to, you can look no further, as the MediaPad M3 is one of the best Android tablets currently on the market. At number 5 we have the Asus ZenPad 3S. The Asus ZenPad 3S is a very identical tablet to the iPad, but it's cheaper, runs on Android and its specs sheet is long. The volume and power buttons are located on the top right corner of the device and the only other physical input is the home button, which has a pretty fast and accurate fingerprint scanner. It houses a crisp clear IPS LCD display with a 2K resolution and 264 pixels per inch. The ZenPad has two cameras, a rear facing 8 megapixel one and a 5 megapixel front facing camera which is capable of shooting 1080p videos. It has a generous 5900 mAh battery which keeps it going for a long time with the light use. However, if you play games and watch a lot of video it will drain a bit faster. The only downside is that if the tablet's battery runs out completely it will take around 15 minutes to turn it back on because charging it back up from the dead is pretty slow. The ZenPad is a good tablet for gaming too because when I tested it it was pretty smooth with some games and it didn't lag at all. I didn't test it with any heavier games though. The 
speakers are also outstanding so you will be able to watch your favorite videos and movies on this tablet without having to use headphones. Overall, it's a good tablet but the long charging time might put some people off. At number 4 we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 has bright and vividly colorful screen. Its real thin design is comfortable and ultra compact. It comes with 32GB of storage, a micro SD card expansion slot and a fingerprint scanner. Plus it has a pretty long battery life. The design is pretty sleek and it has a premium look and feel. This design might feel cheap to you if you're used to iPads and other Apple devices but it is pretty strong and durable. The dimensions of the 8 inch tablet are just right for one handed use and even if you have small hands, you can comfortably hold it securely. The display is stunning because of the 2K resolution and Super AMOLED touchscreen and that's what separates it from the competition. AMOLED screens are able to display deeper and richer blacks and by electrically charging individual pixels to generate colors. The Del Galaxy Tab S2 features an 8 megapixel rear and 2.1 megapixel front camera. Both of them are pretty good for normal use. The battery of the Galaxy Tab S2 is another thing which is worth mentioning because it has a pretty long life and can last for a long time even while gaming and watching videos. And number 3 we have the Asus ZenPad S8. The ZenPad S8 is a great tablet for daily usage which generally delivers a great user experience. It has a Gorilla Glass front with a metallic finish frame and an aluminium backplate which makes this tablet very durable and scratch resistant. The ZenPad S8 features a 8 inch 2K IPS LCD screen which is very sharp and can easily compete with the higher priced tablets. It has a 64 bit Intel quad core processor and 4GB of RAM which makes gaming on this tablet very smooth and lag free. If you take a lot of pictures with your tablet, you're in luck. The ZenPad's 8 megapixel camera is surprisingly good for a tablet and it can take stunning photos and record smooth 1080p video. The battery on this tablet isn't as good as I expected it to be, so if you're planning on taking this tablet on trips with you and using it all the time, it won't be a good option for you. Also, it comes with a lot of pre-installed apps which you might not use, but you can easily uninstall them. To conclude, the Asus ZenPad S8 packs great specs and well-rounded features into an attractive tablet that isn't overpriced, and which competes strongly with more expensive competitors. At number 2 we have the Nvidia Shield K1. If you have children or you love playing games, then the Nvidia Shield K1 tablet will be the perfect choice for you. This tablet was built mainly for playing games and entertaining yourself, and I wouldn't suggest this tablet to people that are looking to get one for working. Don't get me wrong, it can be used for working too, but there are better options for doing that. The Shield K1 is basically one big glass panel on the front with two solid strips at either end that house the speakers and the front facing camera. The K1 features a stunning 8 inch display with a 1920 by 12000 Full HD resolution in which the colors are rich and clean. The Nvidia Shield K1 runs on a 2.2 GHz quad core ARM Cortex A15 CPU combined with a powerful Nvidia Tegra K1 GPU and 2 GB of RAM which will allow you to play games with no issues or lag. This doesn't only apply for games but for other applications and software too. It has a 5 megapixel camera which I didn't really like because the pictures you take with it didn't look as good as I expected them to be. But as I mentioned before, this tablet is mostly aimed at gamers. Overall, this tablet is very good for gamers but not as good for people wanting to do other things with it like write text or watch movies and other things. To finish off our video, at number 1 we have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. I can easily say that it's the best tablet on the market today because it has a ton of features which other tablets don't. However, the price is a bit higher too. It's good looking, fast and has a gorgeous screen and it comes with a capable stylus. It's stylish, all glass tablet with an impressively crisp and vibrant screen and 4 speakers, making it an excellent portable movie theater. If you are looking for a tablet on which you are going to watch a lot of videos and movies, then do not look any further, because no tablet can beat the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 in that field because the HD content looks razor sharp, colorful and bright on this tablet. It also has 4 speakers which are placed on all 4 corners of the tablet. For gaming, this tablet seemed to perform pretty well, but it took a, a bit longer to load more complex games, but still the graphics were spectacular and smooth during the gameplay. 
is good for writing and working on it too. However, the keyboard is not included with the purchase and if you want uh, my opinion, don't get the keyboard because it doesn't perform as well as it should for my, my needs. Still, it's an amazing tablet and if you have the money for it, then definitely go for it. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, you can find links to all these tablets down in the description and the comment section below, so if you want to find out the prices and more information about them, go check them out. Also, if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe because it means a lot to me, and thank you again for watching, I'll see you in the next video.